Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Aries. Let's see what's the energy that's surrounding you guys, okay? I do wanna thank you all. I wanna thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? If you guys would like me to do more Aquarius, Aries, I said Aquarius, some of you guys may be dealing with an Aquarius. If you would like me to do more Aries readings, please let me know down in the comments, okay? All right. All right, my loves. All right, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Show me, Spirit. Show me what I need to see for my Aries. Show me what I need to see for Aries. What's currently going on? Three of Cups. Talks about a lot of celebration. Talks about reunion. Talks about hanging out with your friends. Four of Swords. A lot of you guys, you've been partying a lot. A lot of you guys, you need to rest. You need to take a step back. There's an energy here of you've been having too much fun. You need to rest. <laughs> What's the current conflict for my Aries? Ten of Cups. But truly being happy and truly being fulfilled is your current conflict. So a lot of you guys, like you're wearing a fake mask. You're wearing a facade. You're not as happy as you may appear to be. You're not as content as you may appear to be. Give me past energy. Ace of Cups, new love, new emotions. Who you was liking? Justice, there was an injustice though. For some of you guys, there you, you were married and you went through a divorce and then you found someone new. I feel like, yeah, there's an energy here of coming out of something and entering into something else. For a lot of you guys, there's an, also an energy of you making a bad choice in the past. You chose someone new and there's a regret there. There's a regret of someone here that you're not truly content. Somebody here is not truly content where they're at right now, present moment. That's a big energy because somebody here chose someone new and they're not really content right now, present moment with that 10 of cups where they're at. Hmm. Give me your future energy. Give me your future energy. Three of wands. You're going back to someone here. Like this is returning to a past. Eight of cups. Someone here that you detached from. A lot of you guys, there's an energy here of returning towards something that you were attached to. Look, the devil. There's some type of obsession. There's some codependency here. Look how nostalgia, look how much you think about something from your past. A lot of you guys are returning, wanting to return to something from your past because wherever you went was not what's up or wherever you like right now, present moment, for some of you guys, you may have chosen that you wanted to be single and the life, that life is not, is not as fulfilling as you thought it was going to be. No, four of pentacles, you can't let somebody from your past go. There's a big energy, whether this is you or the person from your past, somebody can't let the other person go. And somebody wants to reconcile. Somebody wants to come back together because somebody is not happy with where they've been or where they're at. No, somebody is not. The devil again, Capricorn energy. Somebody here wants to come out of this. Somebody here wants to truly, truly come out of this posture. Seven of Swords like that deception somebody's tired of thinking about the other person see whether this be you or your person somebody's extremely tired like somebody's tired of playing the game somebody's tired of playing the field somebody here wants to come out of this like somebody wants this head game this it's like i feel like for a lot, there's an energy here of somebody like something's been fucking with them <laughs> like it's like somebody here it's like a mental fuck like somebody wants to come out of this Somebody definitely, definitely, definitely wants to come out of this. There's been a lot of deception. Somebody wants to somebody wants to lay those swords down. There's an energy here of somebody wanting someone to forgive and forget. There's a big energy of somebody wanting someone to forgive and forget. Yeah. So right now, present moment, we definitely have the three of cups. Show me this three of cups for Aries. Ooh, the justice. See, that justice again, that's an injustice. 
We also have the Four of Swords again in the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Hmm. Somebody wants somebody to give them a second chance. Somebody here wants to heal a situation. Somebody here wants to speak their truth. Somebody here wants somebody to hear them out. Like somebody here knows that they made a bad decision, a bad choice. And like somebody here wants someone to hear them out. Somebody here wants to reunite with someone here. Six of Pentacles. See, now somebody wants to do right. Now somebody wants reciprocity. Now somebody wants to do right. So some of you guys could have been dealing with a strong Libra here. They have Gemini and Aquarius energy. You see, now somebody wants to do right. Big energy. This is somebody that's taking over your energy. Yeah. Show me this Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is what's your current conflict right now, your current challenge. That's yes, truly being happy, truly being fulfilled. Show me this Ten of Cups. Two of Wands, the High Priestess. Gosh, for a lot of you guys, or whether this is you or your person, the current conflict, the current challenge is that somebody wants someone from their past. Somebody wants to return to somebody from their past. It's hidden. It's a secret. This is somebody here that's not being honest. This is like almost like somebody trying, somebody lying to themselves. Somebody is stuck, stuck in a posture, truly, truly stuck in a posture. Five of Cups. Somebody's extremely, extremely sorry. Extremely, extremely sorry. Six of Swords. This person wants to come on back home. Somebody wants to go back home. Somebody wants to come on back home. Like somebody wants their family back. Somebody wants their happy place back. Somebody thought they were moving on to Karma Waters, Two of Cups, but they know now that somebody is their soulmate. They are very extreme. They know that they cause a lot of problems. They do. And right now, present moment, there's an energy of, for, for a lot of you guys, like someone here, like there's been some blocks in communication. Like somebody here wants to talk. Some of you guys could have this person blocked. Somebody here wants to talk. But this is also giving me an energy of someone here not trusting the words that are coming out of the other person's mouth. No. There's like this person, it's like if, if they want you or if you want this person, somebody has to take action. Somebody is waiting for the other person to take action, to speak, to speak, to be real. Somebody's waiting for something real to happen. Yeah. Show me this Ace of Cups for my Aries in the past. Four of Wands. See, somebody here ended a relationship in the past and went towards someone new. Yeah, Queen of Swords. I got the queen, the king and the queen of swords, the divine counterpart. Somebody ended a soulmate connection to go to, to go towards someone new. And now the other person is extremely guarded and they like, uh-uh. Somebody's like, uh-uh, player, you had your chance. Like, and somebody wants that old thing back. Yeah, somebody wants to take a leap of faith. Somebody wants a clean slate. Somebody wants a new beginning, strong Aries energy. I feel like there's a big energy here because you can't stop thinking about this person. There's an energy, whether this is you or your person, like they, this, you, you can't stop thinking about this person. Yeah, still holding on. I keep seeing these same cards. Still holding on. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Because whoever this person is, this person offered you something solid. Whoever this person is, this person offered you something solid or you could have offered this person something solid. Yeah. Now, in the near future, I see with this Three of Wands, somebody here is tired of waiting. Tired of waiting. Show me this Three of Wands. Ten of, ten of, ten of Wands. It talks about walking away. Six of Wands. I feel like somebody here is, it's like since someone's not letting them back in the door, Five of Swords. Yeah. Since they're not getting back into the door, whether this be you or this person, somebody's not, le somebody's not letting them back in. You're not letting this person back in. This person is not letting you back in, however this goes. So somebody here is going to move on in the near future because the door is closed. The door is open. They're walking away. Like somebody is walking away from all this emotional baggage. There's been no progression here. There's been no success and no victory here. Five of Swords, it was just too much drama. It was too much drama and somebody here in the near future, they're walking away from it. Completely walking away from it. What's the potential outcome, Spirit? Potential outcome. The world. Something coming full circle. The Hierophant. Yeah. The Hierophant means it feels like Taurus. This is Taurus energy in the world here. Something has come full circle. See that? Something has come full circle and then we have commitment. I feel like this is someone here. Like, I feel like for a lot of you guys, um, there's an energy here of someone ending one thing and starting something else. 
there's an energy here of somebody here giving up on a relationship walking away from a relationship but then they undergo a massive spiritual awakening somebody undergoes a massive spiritual awakening bottom of the deck ten of pentacles somebody decides that they're not going to give to this relationship anymore somebody decides they don't want a relationship they don't want to commit somebody decides that you know all this time and energy that they've invested into something is just not worth it and you see that somebody's moving forward someone's moving forward king of wands aries leo sagittarius to someone else you're moving forward it's not going to be easy for you though you're moving forward but it's not going to be easy for you not at all not at all show me spirit what's the advice what's the advice for aries what's the advice break through the tension scorpio energy so I feel like for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, there's a lot of tension between you and this person that you've been dealing with. It's a big energy. Know your worth towards energy. So for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, whether it is be you or your person, somebody here really and truly knows their worth. Somebody really and truly knows they don't they don't deserve the way this other person this person is treating them. Somebody here they want they, they're gonna they want to break through the tension. This is about okay. You say what you gotta say. I'm gonna say what I have to say. This is somebody speaking their truth. Someone standing up for themselves. Is I'm hearing standing up for their rights. Somebody here really and truly standing up for their rights. There's an energy here of a lot of you guys like there's like trying to rest, rest. Because I feel like there's been a strong energy of a lot of you guys like freeing yourself from something and really and truly acting, acting a little wild and crazy in the mix of all of this. But then there's an, also an energy like someone here may have set you free. You may have set yourself free. But there's an energy here of someone wanting to come back. Someone here wanting to reconcile and the other person being like, nah, I'm good. That's a big energy, big energy. All right, my loves, if any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. If you would like me to do more Aries readings, definitely let me know in the comments below, okay? Until next time, bye guys.